Okay. Right, so the basic, uh, this is the solar design with the collector, the heat exchangers, the domestic hot water tank, and the uh, solar storage tank uh, for the radiant heat. And basically, what we will do is we will take new electric water heaters, 40 gallon, 80 gallon, and possibly daisy chain some of the 80 gallon ones for the solar tank. And we will convert the new tanks to uh, become solar tanks that have plumbed in external heat exchangers onto the sides. We can post the link uh, for the manual that I found this morning. He found a manual. And I'm so bored. The solar loop passes through both exchangers and is augmented by the external on-demand water heater so that the loop itself can bring in additional heat if needed based on the differential uh, control measurements in the system. And there is a open loop for the domestic host water and a closed loop for the solar tanks in here. And that's mainly defined by the fact that the radiant floor tubing is, uh, is a closed system. And the closed system for the uh, uh, solar hot water collector loop. Thank you, handsome husband. That was fascinating. And we are using the most affordable pieces that we can get. So we're bypassing using dedicated solar tanks and using conventional new tanks, uh, possibly with a blanket over them to increase the R value. And um, this should be good. Excellent. Would you get me a beer, please? Yes.